Welcome back, true crime enthusiasts. Get ready to dive into the dark and twisted world of one of the most infamous figures in criminal history, Ted Bundy. In today's episode, we peel back the layers of this enigmatic serial killer and necrophile, uncovering the shocking details of his crimes and the chilling tactics he employed to evade capture. And let's get started. Ted Bundy's life began innocently enough, but his name would later become synonymous with horror and brutality. Born on November 24, 1946, in Burlington, Vermont, Bundy grew up in a middle-class family. His childhood appeared normal on the surface, providing no indication of the darkness that lay within him. Bundy's family background was unremarkable, with a supportive mother and stepfather who raised him as their own. His upbringing reflected a relatively stable environment, offering no obvious explanations for the monstrous acts he would commit later in life. During his school years, Bundy exhibited signs of exceptional intelligence and academic prowess. He excelled in his studies and displayed an uncanny charm that would later prove to be a chilling tool in his crimes. Bundy's affable demeanor and sharp intellect allowed him to navigate through life with ease, blending seamlessly into society and concealing his sinister desires. However, beneath Bundy's facade of charm and intelligence, there were hints of troubling behavior. Some accounts suggest that he exhibited signs of voyeurism and animal cruelty during his adolescence. These early warning signs, though seemingly insignificant at the time, would foreshadow the dark path he would embark upon in the future. Ted Bundy's reign of terror began in the early 1970s as he embarked on a murderous rampage that would claim the lives of countless young women. His crimes were marked by a chilling pattern and meticulous planning, earning him the reputation of a calculated and cunning predator. Bundy's modus operandi involved approaching his victims under various guises, such as impersonating an authority figure or feigning injury. Once he gained their trust, he would overpower them and take them to secluded locations, where he would commit unspeakable acts of violence. Ted Bundy's reign of terror left a trail of devastation, with several high-profile murders that sent shockwaves through the communities where they occurred. While Bundy's list of victims is extensive, a few notable cases stand out as chilling examples of his brutality. One such case is that of 19-year-old Karen Sparks, a college student who disappeared from her dormitory at the University of Washington in 1974. Bundy lured her into his car by pretending to be injured and in need of assistance. Tragically, Karen became another victim in Bundy's sinister game, and her remains were discovered months later, revealing the horrifying reality of what she had endured. Another haunting case is that of 20-year-old Linda Ann Healy, a law student at the University of Washington. Bundy broke into her house in the early hours of the morning and abducted her while she slept. Despite extensive search efforts, her disappearance remained a mystery for years until Bundy confessed to her murder shortly before his execution. Linda's story is a poignant reminder of the far-reaching impact of Bundy's crimes and the lasting pain inflicted upon the victims' families. One of Bundy's most audacious and disturbing acts was the abduction and murder of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach in Lake City, Florida, in 1978. Bundy, posing as a police officer, lured Kimberly from her school premises, leaving no trace behind. Her lifeless body was found weeks later, adding another layer of horror to Bundy's already heinous crimes. The timeline of Bundy's crimes spanned several states, including Washington, Oregon, Utah, and Colorado. Each crime scene bore the haunting signature of his brutality, leaving law enforcement agencies baffled and terrified communities in a state of fear. As the body count continued to rise, law enforcement faced significant challenges in identifying and apprehending Bundy. His ability to evade capture, change his appearance, and move across state lines undetected posed a frustrating obstacle for investigators. Despite their best efforts, Bundy managed to slip through their grasp time and time again, fueling public intrigue and the growing media frenzy surrounding his crimes. The media played a pivotal role in shaping public perception of Bundy. Sensationalized coverage of his murders captivated the nation as people struggled to comprehend the depths of his depravity. The widespread media attention only heightened the fascination with Bundy, turning him into a morbid celebrity and fueling the public's curiosity about his motives and psychology. Following years of evading capture, Ted Bundy's luck finally ran out in 1975 when he was arrested in Utah. This led to a series of high-profile trials that would provide a chilling glimpse into the mind of a serial killer. Bundy's behavior during the trials was a disturbing display of charm, arrogance, and manipulation. Utilizing his legal knowledge, he attempted to represent himself, 
using the courtroom as a stage to showcase his charisma and manipulate the proceedings in his favor. However, his tactics failed to sway the jury, and Bundy was found guilty on multiple counts of murder. The trials presented a wealth of evidence against Bundy, leaving little room for doubt. Physical evidence, including hair and fiber analysis, linked him to the crime scenes. Eyewitness testimonies and survivor accounts further incriminated him. The overwhelming evidence played a pivotal role in securing his convictions, providing closure to the victims' families and a small semblance of justice. Bundy's audacity extended beyond his crimes. In a shocking turn of events, he managed to escape from custody not once, but twice. The first escape occurred in 1977, when Bundy jumped out of a courthouse window in Colorado. He evaded capture for several days before being recaptured. The second escape took place in 1978, when he created a hole in the ceiling of his cell and made a daring escape from a prison in Florida. These escapes captured the public's attention and added to the mystique surrounding Bundy, intensifying both fear and fascination. Ted Bundy's legacy extends far beyond his horrifying crimes, leaving an indelible mark on society. His case continues to captivate the public's imagination, provoking discussions about the nature of evil and the depths of human depravity. Psychological experts have tirelessly analyzed Bundy's behavior to unravel the complex factors that contributed to his transformation into a serial killer. Theories surrounding his psychological profile include psychopathy, narcissism, and antisocial personality disorder. These examinations provide insight into the motivations behind his heinous acts and his chilling ability to maintain a facade of normalcy while harboring unspeakable desires. Bundy's case has also shed light on society's enduring fascination with true crime. The public's morbid curiosity about his crimes, trials, and escapes has sparked a cultural phenomenon that thrives to this day. Books, documentaries, and podcasts dedicated to true crime have proliferated, reflecting a collective fascination with the darkest corners of human behavior. Furthermore, Bundy's case has influenced law enforcement practices and the study of criminal psychology. His ability to elude capture for an extended period prompted a revaluation of investigative techniques and emphasized the importance of interagency cooperation. His case also served as a catalyst for advancements in the study of criminal behavior and the development of profiling methods. In conclusion, Ted Bundy's life and crimes remain a haunting chapter in criminal history. From his early life and education to the chilling details of his crimes and the gripping trials, his story serves as a cautionary tale and a testament to the enduring impact of evil. The psychological analysis of his actions has deepened our understanding of the human capacity for darkness and the pursuit of justice. Meanwhile, his legacy and the public's fascination with true crime continue to shape our culture and influence the fields of law enforcement and criminal psychology. Thank you for joining our journey today. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Until next time and stay safe.